afternoon, everybody. This is Johnny Seville from Acorn Wealth, and this is your executive summary for stock setups for the 11th of October, being Tuesday tomorrow. Uh, the uh, following the uh, presidential debate, second presidential debate, we can see that the uh, the markets have edged higher. Um, the poll showing that investors are looking for confidence in the Clinton win. Of course, um, you know that's not something we buy into too much. We're mostly technical traders here, so anyway, just a noteworthy thing to add in there. But as you can see, the market's kind of still uh, sideways in action. If we have a look at the directional move system which gives us an idea of movement you can see that the uh, uh, it's still signaling the shorts are uh, the favored uh, direction uh, but movement has been kind of uh, going sideways just creeping up so we're still waiting for a break of this channel to show us where the, uh, um, the real move is going to happen um, now in terms of looking at uh, uh, I sent out in the stock summary earlier today uh, a bunch of updates uh, on, on existing positions that we've been covering in the, uh, in the, in the newsletter. Uh, of course, uh, one of the most notable, uh, CIDM. Of course, we sent this out to you on Thursday night as an entry criteria above $2.12. Uh, the, uh, we said uh, we'd look at a target of $2.40 and uh, would raise the stop loss once that, uh, once that was uh, hit. Uh, as you can see today, um, over the last few days, it just rocked right up. Um, obviously, all the way up to a high of $2.67, up from $2.12. So almost 30% move over two days. That's the value of Fallen Angels, folks. Um, so easily hit the $2.40 first target, uh, went all the way up and pulled back. So you, uh, if you did update the stop loss there, you probably would have been uh, taken out around that 240 zone. If not, I'd still get out around 230 here because I think this will probably pull back to 2 bucks or around there before it goes for another surge. So um, uh, anyway... Fantastic move um, and really, really liked, obviously, the action on that one today. Um, Lululemon also continues to impress. Uh, this one, uh, as, uh, just all the way down from where we alerted you at on August 30th, just continues lower and lower and lower and lower. Uh, those options are up in the high triple digits now. Uh, of course, um, the uh, true test I've been talking about over the last couple of days or slash weeks is can we break down beneath the support level? Uh, if we do, we should be heading down towards a 77% Fibonacci at 51.76. So paying attention to how the stock is closing uh, is important. We've gone 2.37 million shares on Thursday. Uh, we had uh, 2.65 million today. And today being Columbus Day, we had a little bit lower volume, 1.26 million. However, we did close right at the uh, bottom of the range. So that uh, is a higher probability it'll break down than if we had, for example, a reversal candle. Particularly seeing as that there was an overall upward movement in the market early on, uh, this stock didn't really enjoy much of that at all. So Lululemon is still looking really good. Um, let's have a look. SPG, another notable mention. Uh, SPG, uh, this one, of course, was the options play back when it was up here around uh, 209, a short on retail REITs. And uh, now this was a this was already something we um, d discussed, you know, suggesting you consider taking at least 100% of the profit out um, when it started to bottom here and maybe letting the, the rest ride. And um, as you can see, it's kind of rock rocked up. Uh, it's uh, had bad, you know, Good closes for a short position, uh, closing in the bottom half of the range on both these days, and maybe signaling another advance on this what looks like now a bear flag. So still looking around this 184 area as the next target here. So I'm um, really liking that one. Also, um, on the, that's a short. Now on the long side, another quick one to mention, uh, FNBC. Uh, this has closed quite well. Uh, what we really need to see this um, in terms of uh, uh, making a push to the $13 target, though, is a break through this line. Now, this line, therefore, you can see this. We kind of get an ascending triangle formation, which tells us that we measure the, you know, the distance of, the, the, of, of that uh, triangle. And then we move it above, and you can see that takes us basically to $13, um, or a 12% move from here. So, um, again, the break above this horizontal level should mean the, uh, the beginning of that uh, real uptrend. Um, a lot of the, we have made a few other uh, announcements there in the newsletter in terms of existing positions you can check out. I won't go through all of them, but of course RESI, one of the newer alerts. This one, of course, we're waiting to break down below ten dollars and seven cents. Uh, great stock trade, I think. Uh, but also, um, if you were looking for the options, there are some thirty cent options. The November ten dollar puts again, it's a short term risky play, so I wouldn't be putting much money into it. But again, I mean, if we get down to eight dollars fifty, then those could be as much as uh, you know a dollar fifty type of thing. So there's a you know, four five hundred percent upside if the trade does get all the way down there. So um, again, for, for those of you looking for a bit more of a risky, a bit more of a uh, roll the dice play, there's some cheaper options there, and the uh, November ten puts thirty cents. Okay, okay, and of course that's a play on the real estate also. 
Uh, moving on to the new uh, stock selected, um, Take Two is one we've been talking about and trading for quite a while. It's also one of the ones we talked about in the big one um, uh, recently. For those of you in the big one, uh, <coughs> uh, I, I talked about this. As a text message alert I sent out today, for those of you who are full gold members, you would have got that text message alert and email notification um, earlier on today. Now, this was just starting to break down. What I like about this is you can see that there is, uh, on the longer term, you've got an upward channel here, and then we have another upward channel there, which it was just breaking down on Friday through. Um, I had a look at the options on this one on, uh, on PTWO, and uh, there was... Three, over 3,000, uh, let's see, 3,310 open interest on that on Friday, and 1,058 puts bought on that on Friday. Now, I'm talking about the January $45 puts, so um, those move really nicely, and they, were, uh, they actually are already up just today um, 32%. So um, uh, this, this one looks decent, and I talked about uh, putting a stop loss there um, up above, where are we here? 47.33, basically above the uh, the top end of where that double top would be, and uh, this is a longer term potential play, of course, that we're looking at there. Um, so uh, take two is looking quite interesting. Uh, if we have a look at uh, take two, some of the other things that are, are factored into this. Uh, let me just bring up my fin display. Um, a screen, I should say. Now, have a look at the fundamentals there. We've got a 663 price-to-earnings ratio, which is considering these guys just make video games, I I'm wondering how they value, uh, justify a valuation of 660 times what they make in a year. Um, the, uh, you can see the insider transactions are negative. We'll have a look at that again in a second. Uh, the debt to equity is, uh, is high. It's 0.95. So um, uh, that's considered high by Finviz standards and by the way we scan for standards. And uh, if, again, if we go to the insiders, let's uh, have a look at that. You can see TTWO, bam. There's a, a lot of selling happening coming back into uh, May, uh, June, and uh, of course recently in August uh, in the millions of dollar level. Now the price they were selling at is also relevant here, and you can see that they were selling at $36, which is lower than where the current price of the stock is. So um, there's been a big exodus around this type of uh, price point back earlier in the year saying that perhaps the stock is getting toppy. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the Twigs money flow and see if that agrees. And if we have a look at the Twigs money flow, you can see that as the stock has gone up, the smart money flowing into the stock has gone lower and lower and lower. So as price of the stock increases, seemingly reflecting a good story, a, a great growing company, which it may be, but the smart money is going the opposite way. And to me, that is uh, increases the risk to say, uh, maybe this is a time that isn't ideal to be buying and possibly a good time to be shorting. That's why I selected that one as a potential short for today that we sent out early this morning. Now, um, let's have a quick look. Uh, GT, um, one moment, folks. Okay, so now on to one of the uh, longs that I uh, like, G GTXI. Much higher risk um, is a small stock, but I'm looking at this as a possible flag formation. The money flow hasn't really come into this one yet, um, but again, I was looking for a break of 87 cents to a first target of up around this uh, this um, uh, 97 cent mark. In terms of stop loss, I want to look at the intraday chart on this. So uh, you may this is probably more for an active trader, but I would suspect it'd be around 82 cents once we get the breakout. So we're looking at about five cents of risk for about 10 cents of reward. So it's a two to one risk reward ratio play. Um, the other one that I liked was um, also kind of a lower dollar stock, but uh, seems to have the potential of, um, um, again, one of these kind of pharmaceutical reco recovery stories. Uh, you can see it's had a very big drop from $12 all the way down to a buck. Uh, this stock is typically trading a, you know, a couple million dollars at least today, so there is volume there. It's not a penny dreadful um, as far as we can see, and you can see it's just starting to, uh, to roll back up. This is one of the, this is one of the stocks, um, if you were in the, uh, I believe it was in the Mastermind, that we'd actually pick this one out as a, um, a potential, yeah, last week on Wednesday, uh, we liked this one. Uh, so mastermind people, great pos great trade there if you got into the entry criteria on the Thursday as it went to move up. Um, as a, as a con continuation trade, uh, this could be interesting here. I'd look at an entry criteria um, of a break above uh, 154, and uh, I'd be looking at a stop criteria at 138. 
And uh, in terms of a first target, I'd be looking up, up at 187. We are going to experience, obviously, some kind of a problem here uh, around 167. So if it starts to get toppy at that point, we may raise the stop or take some early profits. But uh, my longer term prof uh, target is 187. And that comes back to looking at um, uh, this area back here where we saw the more uh, dramatic sell-off there with a high of 193. If we break that, we could be looking higher all the way up to the $2.74 mark. So there is some interesting uh, potential there. Um, at the very best, we want to give it some room to move and protect our entry price. So hopefully, I mean, unless you get a gap down, we can at least get a free trade out of it with the potential of making 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% potentially uh, if it just continues to run. Uh, as long as we can update our stop loss to protect our entry price, at least there, there's, there's minimal risk of losing any money. So, I mean, that's the ideal scenario, obviously, where we've got that protection and everything we're playing with the house money in terms of profit. So that's it for today. Now, um, if uh, you are not a, a gold member or you're not getting these alerts daily um, and just giving us a try for now, I'd highly recommend you give our full gold membership a try. You can get all of our services our, um, in terms of text alerts, daily reports just like this, and written reports that also come to your email at the end of the day and throughout the day. Uh, it's only 9 bucks to try it for a full month. Uh, so that's a pretty good trade by most people's standards. And uh, you can enroll with that by following the link on the screen. It's Acorn Wealth Corp dot com forward slash gold and of course uh, included in that is our Tuesday and Thursday live training sessions where we'll be talking about all these things and taking questions and of course uh, that's every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific 7 p.m. Eastern with our uh, next one of course being tomorrow night so I hope you'll join me for that have a wonderful evening and happy trading